Hey guys, and welcome to part 10. We have finally made it into the double digits. This is pretty cool. In the last nine parts, we've got a menu, a play button, and a shop button. The shop button brings us to our shop where we can buy items. And we've got a play button where we can kill enemies that attack us. They have lives, and we have lives. And we have different guns that we can swap to when we buy different guns from the shop. We also have a score when we kill enemies, so that is pretty cool. Now I'm going to fix one thing. You notice that we got 5 points from the score last game, and when I click the flag, it stays there. We can buy stuff from the shop with this. We can actually, the score doesn't go away until we press play. Now also, once we die, we then now have a score that will actually disappear when we click play. So we need to actually fix that. Here in the enemy sprite, we have set cash to zero when we receive play, but play is just when we start the game. So we don't want to do that. We want to do it only when the flag is clicked. So we will do that right here when the flag is clicked. And that should fix that. Now it goes to zero, and then play. So we die. Then it doesn't disappear. So we can click play again and it's still there. So that's pretty nice. When we start the flag, it disappears. Alright, that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to fix one thing also from the shop items. We made it so that this only costs 5 coins, uh, our item from the shop. So I'm going to make it 250 because that's what we had to made. Okay, so now that we have that down, I'm going to do a couple of other things. One thing that's a little bit weird is when we're playing a game and a guy goes on top of us, He's just jistling around, joggle, joggle, joggle around. And it does not look that appealing to the eye. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. We're going to make it so that when an enemy goes on top of us, they die. So we're going to kind of make them, make them fade away. So when they die, they die when we kill them with our bullet. But they also, we also want them to die if they touch the player. So we're going to add this if statement. That says, if touching player, then we're going to die by changing the ghost effect by, I uh, will say, 25 times, or we'll say actually four times. And after that, it will delete this clone. We're going to put this right here in that enemy. In this enemy, we're going to put it right here. Oops. And then in the final enemy, we're going to put it right here. All right, let's just see how this looks. Play. Alright, that looks kind of cool. I like that because then the lives go away only once when they touch you. And you can't really escape from some of them very easily. I say that looks really nice. Okay, now another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this digit thing right here. Right here we have this cache variable. But it doesn't look that nice, I guess. So we're just going to make a new one. We're going to make a new sprite. We're going to call this score, and I'm just going to add a text. I'm going to grab this text. I'm going to change this to whatever color I want. I'll just do black, and I will just go like this. I'll click, and I will press a 1, and I'll center it, and I'm going to make the outline however I like. I can change the text to however I want it to be got sand surf surf galaxy and surf so what we're gonna do now is we're going to once we have the font we want we're gonna go duplicate we're gonna click this with the text selected press 2 and we're gonna just gonna go through all of the numbers
Once we get to 9, we're just going to make this 0. Now I'm just going to rename all these. This is not insanely necessary, so if it just takes too much time for you, that's fine. You don't need to do it. I'm only naming these so that I know which one each one is. Now I'm going to go to the code, and I'm going to add it in. So we're going to get rid of this cache variable by unchecking it. And we're going to go to when flag clicked. We're going to say... Uh, if we show, where is it? Oh, it's right here. It's quite small. We're going to want it to go up here, but we want the size to go up a little bit. Let's try 200. Let's see what that's like. 200 is pretty good. We'll put that right there. And that is good at 20, 220, and 150. Okay? So we're going to have it go there. Now once we go there, we're going to hide, and then we're going to have a forever loop. We're now going to make a variable called i for this sprite only. This variable we're going to set right here in the forever loop. Make sure it's i and set it to 1. Now we're going to go to this position again. Next we're going to make a block. This block is going to be called create score digits. We're going to make sure to click this run without screen refresh button and then we're going to press ok. This is going to go right here and there's going to be create score digits right here. I'm going to grab this repeat block right here, and then I'm going to go to operators. I'm going to grab this length of, place it right here, then go to the variables and put the cache right there. Repeat the length of cache. Now we're going to go to looks and grab a switch costume to. Uh, we're going to go to operators, letter, and then we're going to go I, grab an I of cash. We're now going to create a clone of myself, change the x by maybe minus 200, let's see what that looks like. That might be good. So change the x by 20, see how that looks. And then we're going to change i by 1, like that. Then we're going to put two things in here, we're going to set a variable that we're going to create here. We're going to call it current score. We can make it for this sprite only. Uncheck this. Set the current score to cache. Then we're going to wait until not. We have an equals current score is equal to cache. We still need to make a when I start as a clone show. We are now going to set the current score to cache and then wait wait until not and then equals current score is equal to cache and then it's going to delete this clone. Okay, let's try it out. So we've got 0, 2, 2. It keeps stays at 2. 3, 2, and it's not working that well. And this is because we said set cache to 0 right here. I made a mistake there. We do not want to set the cache to 0, so just delete that. Okay, let's try this again. 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. This actually is working pretty well. Now, you probably don't really understand what the code that I just did what uh, is and like how it works. So, I'm going to explain that to you real quick. These two do seem pretty smashed together. So, I'm just going to... Uh, let's see... We go to the score. We can just change the x by 22, maybe. Now, when we change the score next. Okay, that's better. Maybe we do 24. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, so now let's explain how this actually works. We start by having an original digit go 
to this position, which is right here. You can uncheck the cache now. Next, the original digit hides, and then forever it sets this random variable to 1, and I'll explain why it does that later. Then it goes to this position again, just to make sure that it's going there, and it's just going to do that again and again. So it's going to go there, and then it's going to do what's inside of this. Now, what it does inside of here is it repeats the length of cache, it switches the costume to letter I of cache. So it originally set the I to a 1, so letter 1 of cache. So for instance, there's only a 52 right now, so there's a 52. Let's just say there was a 2. If it was just 2, then the length of cache would be 1, and it would do this once. It would switch the costume to letter 1 of cache, which is 2. So it's just switching the costume to 2. Then it's creating a clone myself, which is basically just stamping the position on there. Next, it moves over and changes the I by 1. Now, right now, that doesn't do anything at all. But the reason why it does that is because if there's more than one digit, that's going to be very handy. Now, I'll show you why in a minute. So now when I start as a clone, it shows. So the stamp that we just made, it shows that stamp. Then it sets the current score to cash. The current score is just a random variable that we set to cache, so we can wait until it changes. Now we're going to wait until current score is not equal to the cache. Now that means that we the score has changed, which means we've gotten more cache. If we've gotten more cache, then it's just going to change, and this is going to wait until that happens, and then it's going to delete itself. This is going to make sure that new things can appear, instead of just stamping on top of each other, which is going to look very messy. So instead it deletes it and puts new, one out, new ones out there. That's what it does here. After it creates these digits, then it does the exact same thing. It sets this random variable to cache, waits until they're not the same, and then it does the same thing over again. Now, why do we put this in a block instead of just putting this inside? Well, if you have a lot of digits, it's repeating them again and again, and it takes a little bit of time. But you'll notice that when we created this, we clicked the button that said, run without screen refresh, which means that it just does it instantly. And that's what we want. We want all this to happen instantly, which is how it works. And that's great. Now, the actual cache is 52. So if this was 52, then what's going to happen? Well, it's going to repeat the length of cache, and the length of cache is 2, because there's a 5 and a 2. It's going to switch costume to letter 1 of 52, which is 5. So it's going to switch it to 5. Then it's going to create a clone of itself and stamp a 5 right here. Then it's going to move over and it's going to change the i by 1. Now it's going to go over again. Now, originally i was 1, but now it's 2 because it got changed by 1. So now, letter 2 of cache, which is 2. So it's going to stamp that and move over again. So it stamped it. So it stamped the 5 and then it stamped the 2 a little bit over, which is 52. So it works pretty well. That's how this, these digit things work. Now also, I really kind of like how the digits look. They look a lot better than the original ones. Um, now, you'll see that when we do this, it kind of jumps. It like disappears and blinks. It doesn't look super good. So we can actually fix that. It's pretty easy. We're just going to go to when it deletes this clone. It's not going to delete it right away. It's going to wait 0 0.00001 seconds. Now when we go, we're going to have to double click the flag, which isn't very good. Uh, let's see if we can fix that in a second. So we're going to press play, and it just changes. That's really cool. Sometimes there's a little bit of a blink, but it's quite small. Alright, that's pretty nice. Okay, let's fix the reason that when we start it, it looks pretty bad. Why is that? When the flag is clicked, I'm going to just delete this clone. Let's see what happens there. I click that. Okay. Now once the score goes up a little bit, and then click the flag, it still does that. Let's actually wait a little bit of sec- like a small amount of time before we delete this clone. Nope, still happens. I think what we need to do is we need to set to the cache to zero at the beginning right here. Let's try that. And we click the flag. There we go. That works pretty well. Just stopping it. We start the flag. There we go. That worked great. Now, we didn't do much today, but I think we just kind of perfected 
a lot of the things that weren't looking super great. We've kind of cleaned it up a lot, and I think it looks a lot better. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something, and feel free to leave in the comments a link to the game that you're working on. I'd love to see how it's turning out. And if you have any questions, you can also ask in the comments, and I'll try and answer you. Thanks so much for watching, and stay tuned for part 11. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, and remember I do have another channel right here where you can subscribe to my main account, so please do that. Thank you so much. Bye.